What is up TCG Army, C-Money TCG here. Today I am so unbelievably excited, this may be the most excited I've ever been for a video because inside this FedEx box is the peak of my collecting, my entire Pokemon collecting journey uh, has come to its peak today inside this box. This Inside this box has been literally a year and a half in the making. There's been a lot of trades, sells, buys, all that kind of stuff. Trying to work my way up to this card. I honestly quite literally never thought I would obtain it. It was kind of a pipe dream like a year and a half ago. But I made a whole bunch of sacrifices, sold a ton of stuff, and just made some deals. Came across the guy Classic Pokemon on Instagram. That's who this is from. And uh, man, inside this is my personal holy grail. But before that, we also have another one from G-Bear on Instagram. G-Bear Pokey, I believe. Uh, I'll throw his Instagram up on the thing. I'll throw Classic Pokemons as well. Those are who these are from today. Uh, congrats to G-Bear. He has a baby on the way. A baby bear, I do believe. So uh, really excited for uh, him and his... Uh, See their girlfriend, wife, fiance. I'm not sure what exactly they are uh, on Instagram. Poke Gal Amanda, go follow both of them. They do uh, some awesome raffles and stuff like that and live streams and everything. So, anyway, lots of fun stuff to get to today. We are going to save the best for the last and get into this one from uh, G Bear real quick because this is actually really cool. I'm excited for this one too. Um, I do want to kind of open this one up over here to hide kind of some information, stuff like that privacy and all that good stuff over here but here we go here is this one right here yeah cool. box was a little tore up but that's just fine um i think it's gonna be just a-okay here let's see if i can tear this without oh look at him there's some extra stuff in here he said he saw it was my birthday on instagram when i messaged him about this he had this come up I was really excited to find it because I, I actually never seen one of these up for sale. I didn't really search for it, but he had this come up and I was like, man, I want that. I need that for my collection. Um, but he said he was throwing in some other stuff because he was a sucker for birthdays. So, boom. Oh, wait, is this the uh, first the Tag Team GX? Okay, so this is like, you can get the birds and stuff in here. That's pretty sweet. I don't remember exactly which pack. I think this is like the first part of... Hidden Fates or something like that. Uh, what was it? You obviously get the birds. Tag Team GX. So sweet. I don't know exactly what the set's called. But I'll, let's crack the... We'll show what this is first. This is a sealed Mewtwo half deck. Japanese Mewtwo half deck. Level X. So, man, this thing is in like perfect condition too. Holy crap, this is sweet. So there's a Mewtwo level X promo in here. Japanese. I don't know if it's sealed or anything. The whole box is sealed. So this is a sealed Mewtwo level X half deck. You guys know how much I love Mewtwo. Uh, my favorite Pokemon by a mile. I freaking, My collection is Charizard, Mewtwo, and Umbreon. Um, I love me some Mewtwo. So he, he had this come up for a really good price. I checked kind of sold comparisons, and I, I had to have it. This thing's so cool. I did, it was the thing that I didn't know I needed. So this is a sealed Mewtwo half deck. I'm not much of a sealed guy, but this is freaking sweet for a Mewtwo collection. We'll go ahead and crack these packs, too. Why not? Let's have some fun here. Let's crack some packs today. I didn't know. Thank you very much for the extras, my dude. Thank you so much. I didn't know we were going to be cracking packs today. But here we go. Let's see here. Uh, so uh, the rare is the wheezing. So this is the first pack part of Hidden Fates, I believe. These Most of these are in Hidden Fates, that wheezing and stuff. The birds, obviously. Let's see if we can get a hollow or something, or a GX or something like that. Octal, Licky Licky, Papu Finny, and that's the rare. So no, no hits out of these, but thank you so, so much for the extras. Uh, G Bear, if you are watching this, I do appreciate it greatly. He threw these in, uh, these extra packs for my birthday. So I do appreciate that, my man. I did turn 30 this past weekend. That's kind of weird. I am 30 years old officially, so that's really strange. So uh, this is my birthday present to myself, was making this happen. Okay. So the story behind this, I sold my gold star Rayquaza. I know, Colin, why would you ever do that? But I told you guys when I got it, there would only be one reason I would ever sell that card, and it would be to fund my personal Holy Grail. Well, inside this box is my personal holy grail. So, some of you may already know what it is because it's literally my favorite card of all time and a grade that I am very pleased with. It's a slab. But, uh, Jesus, how do you, what is the best way to get this FedEx box open here? Maybe down here? Okay, yeah, here we go. Ease. I don't want to be too rough with this. All right, here we go. Crack this guy open. Oh, here we go. Man, he packaged this well, which I am very, very thankful for. Okay. Here it is. Box down there. Oh boy. All right. All right. 
All right, so I did get this first steel for a couple reasons. There's a crack on the slab right here. I'm going to get this re-slabbed 100%. There's a crack here, and inside here, that this whitening is on the sleeve. It's not on the card. It's, like, on the sleeve. So I knew all that coming into this. Um, he was very open and honest about this. I'm going to get this thing completely re um like re slab there's there's like whitening on the sleeve itself it's really strange it's not on the card it's on the sleeve itself so i'm going to get this re slabbed um that was the plan coming in like i said there's a small crack um from shipping yeah that's like 100 percent. there's stuff on the car not on the card it's all in the sleeve so i am fine with that i i knew that coming in that i was gonna have to get this thing re slabbed 100 percent None of that is on hard. Okay. So. Charizard. Crystal Charizard 9.5. Now, I will say I didn't know about this scratch right here. I did not know about that scratch. So that's a little annoying. Uh, but like I said, I'm getting it re-slabbed anyway. So it, it's okay. Yeah. I didn't know about all the scratches on the front. So that's a little annoying. However, uh, I am getting it re-slabbed. The plane was to get it re-slabbed all along, so that is okay. 9.5, 9.59, 9 and 9.5, man. And there, you got a nice swirl going on here. Crystal Charizard and a 9.5. So, little, oh my gosh. This is the Holy Grail. I said, there are scratches. I, I did get this for way cheaper than uh, like the average because of that. So, I mean, that, that was part of it. I did not know there was a fat scratch right there as well. I was thinking I could might be able to put it off for a little bit, but there is a fat scratch right there. That is okay. I'm gonna get re-slabbed. So there we go, man. Crystal Charizard, big swirl right here in the text box. 9.5. This is my personal holy grail right here. Man, this thing must have like taken a fall because this slab is all scratched up, man. But it's okay. Like I said, I saved a whole bunch of money by getting a scratch up slab, and I will be getting it re-slabbed. So, but, uh, man, this thing is sick. Um, this thing is absolutely incredible. 9.5 Crystal Charizard. Said all this stuff, I believe, is 100% on the sleeve. It's not on the card. It's on the inner sleeve. We're just fine. It's all on the sleeve. We're good. I wonder what happened. Like, what kind of a fall did this thing have to take? That... But, uh, there we go, man. Looks absolutely wonderful. The card itself looks absolutely incredible. The slab must have taken some kind of damage in shipping or something. Not for me. Like, I knew Ed and stuff. I was going to have to get re-slabbed. That was part of the deal. But uh, here we go. I literally saved, like, $2,000 by getting this one. So I, I'm okay with it because I literally I saved Buku's of money. This thing does go between 10k. I got I paid this was 10k for me, but I saved Buku's of money because the slab was damaged, uh, all the way up to like 12 and a half thousand dollars. So this is by far the most expensive card in my collection, bar none. Now, my personal holy grail. Uh, I will pay to have it like express re-slabbed or whatever. Whatever I need to check what the services are, service options are. But man, this thing. It's here. This is my grail. We finally have it. So I will be looking into making sure I can get this re-slabbed ASAP. We'll do a video when it comes back re-slabbed and it's a nice pretty new slab and we'll get all that taken care of. But man, this thing is gorgeous. Absolutely stinking gorgeous, man. 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, and 9. 2003 Charizard from Sky Ridge. My favorite card. My new personal holy grail. It's here. I could not be more excited, man. I really couldn't be. So this thing is absolutely incredible. Also added this Mewtwo half deck to the collection, which is super cool. I'm very excited about this as well. So, man, so this means I just wanted to give a little heads up to this. Uh, so this was my nine. I'm, pr I'm trying to trade this right now a little bit or sell it to help finish funding this, um, which I will say this 9.5 is way cleaner than my nine, which is kind of like way cleaner than the nine. It's actually kind of funny how much of a difference it can make, um, but way, way cleaner. Um, and then, uh, so I have that one, but now I have my grails, all my grails here and 9.5. So my, uh, that's, this is super cool. These are my three favorite cards I own now. The Umbreon isn't my most expensive card, but this is still way up there. A, 10, a PSA 10 is like 3000. 
This one's probably around 2,500, being a 9.5. So not my most expensive car, but one of my favorites in my collection. Obviously my new favorite, the Crystal Charizard 9.5 and my legendary collection that I graded myself. So really excited to have all of these in 9.5s now. These are my grails. I'm gonna try to go after a 9.5 Aquapolis Umbreon soon. So uh, that'll be added. Um, but yeah, man, these are my three Holy Grails all in 9.5, which is super exciting. I, they match, they're cool. I'm very excited about this, man. But this is the big mail day. I said it is scratched up, it's fine, but we're going to get re slabbed from Beckett and get this all taken care of. It said I knew it coming in. So um, that's it, man. I'm really, really excited. It, it, it's here, it's in my possession, it is mine. So we're going to do that, get re, re slabbed. I'll have to see what their services are that are open and stuff. But, uh, uh, you know, I'll, as soon as I can, possibly can, I'm going to get that re-slabbed and we'll have a nice video of that coming back and it's a nice, beautiful thing. We've got PSA returns coming back soon, like this week, hopefully this weekend, maybe after this video goes up. Uh, let me throw this one up there too, very cool. So uh, maybe after this video goes up, we'll uh, have PSA returns um, the next day or something. I'm not sure exactly when this one's going up, but uh, PSA returns are this week, this weekend, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, I'm excited, man. This is... This is so cool. I'm so happy right now. So thank you guys so much for on this video. Please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Yeah.